And you guys are in studio to talk about Rock for the Red Cross. And Mary, you can kind of go through this uh, this event going coming up. Well, we're real excited. Um, out of the blue, I got a phone call saying that they wanted to do this for us. And we said, well, absolutely. <laughs> so after several other phone calls and emails, <laughs> we finally were on the right track and we're putting it all together. On July 29th and 30th, we're going to have this uh, event at the Majestic Theater. Doors will open, well, we'll have the courtyard open at 5. We're going to have some food, some bever- beverages, a beer garden. And then the doors to the Majestic will open at 7. Show starts at 8, both nights. So it's going to be a good time. be a big event. And uh, you guys are saying you can pick up uh, tickets at a couple different places, uh, one of them being BBB Music and the other one uh, from the website, TeaserTickets.com. That's teaser with a Z instead of where the S would be if you you think about it uh, phonetically. Should be a fun event. And we were talking a little bit uh, beforehand about uh, this being a reuniting of a band. And Tony, you were kind of telling me the story. I'll let you uh, mm-hmm. tell the story of the band uh, right now. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it very much. And uh, I wish I was a little more awake, but <laughs> um, we, we've been up. We, we, uh, so the bands it, don't wake up before noon, do they? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a difficult uh, task for all of us to get together. Can you give T- us two of one? us are in Nashville? Yeah. Um, one of us is in Knoxville, one is in uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and three are still here in Chilcothy. So for us to all get together and you know, record and practice and things like that, it, ta- it takes some pretty creative scheduling. We've been coming up here. We've been here for the last three days rehearsing at our secret hideaway. Um, <laughs> But so we're we're on our way back to to, uh, to, to, to Nashville here. A little, little tired at, at, after this, but we've been working really hard to make this a great show for the for the people here locally. But the band was formed um, about thirty years ago here here in Chillicothe with three of their members uh, still here in town. Uh-huh. Um, we say two other members uh, in Nashville, one in uh, Knoxville, one in um, North Carolina. But it's really a it's really a kind of a feel good story and how social networking. Can bring people back together. I know I, I moved to Atlanta and then to Nashville and then uh, David the singer he moved to Florida and then uh, to Tennessee and I had no idea that David was just a couple hours away from me until we started all hooking up through through Facebook. It was really interesting and uh, as we started uh, blogging back and forth we was like hey well, how about we should get this band back together and do a reunion. That was last year so we ended up getting this reunion together and then after that it just felt right you know it's just like <laughs> wow he's our brothers and sisters are back together it's like the family the family it's a family reunion kind of a thing so we immediately after that we went to the studio we booked a studio in uh, uh nashville actually it took us uh six months to finish this record that we have out called uh, resurrection so again we're, we're resurrecting uh the band but uh yeah we tracked that in nashville and we just started uh, it, we're, we're so blessed in that uh, all the all the pieces that came together, uh, the people that that uh, uh, made this thing happen. Uh, Thomas Johnson, who's uh, some of the local music people here in town, may uh, know uh, Tom from his days and my days at the recording workshop under the tutoring of uh, these incredible, talented people there. Um, but Thomas uh, produced the record. Uh, once Tom left Chillicothe, he went to L.A., in L.A., he was known for producing and engineering the porno for Pyro Records, uh, Jane's Addiction, uh, Rancid. So he's just an incredible, incredible mm-hmm. talent. And then so so Tom came on, and this is all, uh, nobody is getting paid to do this, which is the neat thing about it. It's all, um, I don't know if you'd necessarily call it a barter thing, but just people wanting to get together and create some great music. Uh, also, a friend of ours from uh, Portsmouth, Ohio, a guy named Jody Harris, uh, wrote all the songs on this CD. And Jody is in Nashville, and he was with Brad Paisley at the time, but now he's out with Taylor Swift. But he had a bunch of uh, rock and roll tunes that really yeah. fit our style, right? <laughs> More so, so than Taylor Swift, I'd say. Y- well, yeah, this is, pr- it's, this is rock, man. This is <laughs> certainly Taylor rock and won't roll. do his music, I guess and, we're going to have to. And, 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 somebody's um, got to do it. <laughs> so, uh, so David, the, the singer, says, man, Jody's got some great songs. We ought to check them out. So we started listening to all these tunes from Jody. But anyway, the pieces of the puzzle just really started coming together. Another gentleman locally here, uh, Joe Kaiser, was some of you folks may know Joe, who was out with uh, Keith Urban, and he's out with uh, Sugarland right now. He ended up doing a lot of our photography for the record. And, of course, Derek over here 
uh, ended up doing the actual layout, which is a really cool looking uh, record. So Joe came on, did our band photos, and he also hooked us up with his friend Jason Jinks, who works for Moot TV down in uh, Nashville, who come out to do a video shoot at Ocean Way Studios. And uh, Jason is with Jason Aldean. He does all of his videography type work. But it's, it, it's just, uh, we're just, we're just blessed as all these people come together and just has made this really, really an exciting uh, project for everybody. So. And you talked about you know this all coming together after years and years. You guys uh, started it 30 years ago, you say. Uh, how long has it been since you guys played uh, collectively as a group? Uh, you say you started 30 years. Well, how the, long the, it? Yeah, the band uh, broke up. I think I broke up the band, or maybe it was... Um, Yoko. Okay, who's I think fault? Yoko, I think Yoko <laughs> broke this thing up. <laughs> you know, you know when they broke up, I was uh, in a stroller or something. <laughs> they, they formed 30 years ago, and I'm 30 years old. So, so you're not necessarily a founding father no, of the I band. Well, so. his father is a founding father. Although my father, father is a founding yeah. father. Yeah, so. yeah he's carrying on the tutelage there. So I think the last major show was uh, one of the Party on Paints. You guys still do those? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're still. Well, no, fun. not Party on Paint, Boogie on the Blacktop. Boogie on the Blacktop, wow. <laughs> <laughs> or exactly. in the courtyard at the Majestic, so we can resurrect that. <laughs> you guys are growing so fast here, it's hard to keep up with all this. But yeah, we were playing a Party on Paint, and the audience wouldn't let us stop playing. And um, so we, we were kind of torn between you know being arrested or, or playing more music. <laughs> so we decided to play more music. And did a, like a nine-hour show. No, it, okay. you know, I, I think we went over like 45 seconds or something. It didn't, it didn't fit real well with the city ordinances, but, uh, but you know, rebels, always rebels. But anyway, Derek here was two years old. He was in a stroller on the side of the stage as his father, Max, was playing bass. So he got to witness uh, what corrupt musicians are like at a very early age. And, um, uh, thrown right into the fire sometimes. Sometimes that works out for the best. The band fights are really cool. It's like, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> yes, son. So how many are uh, all the original members still in it uh, uh, with the addition of Derek? Uh, they're um, uh, Mark Goodman, uh, original. Max Potter, original. David Mortz, original. And myself, original. Uh, Mar Marty. Marty and I work for an artist out of Nashville named uh, Ronnie Millsap. So we spent five oh. years on a on a tour bus together so we kind of got to know each other and marty's a very creative uh, force behind this this whole thing on keyboard so uh we, we were really fortunate to have crossed paths with him too uh derek is from this area not but not an original member so oh oh and then natalie natalie that's kind of a cool story because we used to play music with her father here in town uh, uh jimmy uh D davis and, and uh, we were looking for some female uh, backup singers last year for the reunion and she just kind of fell into our lap you know so so we're blessed to have her too there too so throughout the years you guys said you all split apart different parts of the country what was it like to finally get back in the studio is it kind of like you know didn't lose any time together you guys kind of went in there and gelled immediately or was it kind of you had to work out the kinks what was it like getting back in the studio with everybody it, it, it was it was pretty magic where everything just really came together it just felt right you know, uh, we had to knock, knock a little bit of the rest off, certainly, you know. Maybe it took us a little longer to record than it would in a typical Nashville session. But, but yeah, it, it felt good. <clears throat> I think the product kind of speaks for itself, really. You know, you can, you can tell with, uh, you know, the, you can hear the magic in the tracks. Hopefully you guys are going to be playing it on the radio here, right? Yeah, uh, if, uh, if we, if we ever we, get a copy, Mary, I'm sure you're in charge. Okay, we have it right here. We're be on we'll have to play some samples. So we have to have it in the yeah. copy right here. The album cover is from, where's this from, Derek? That's from up on the hill, the cemetery. Cemetery up on the up hill. On the hill. It's, really, yeah. it's really good. It's an interesting thing. Cause on our Facebook page, we, we re redid our Facebook page uh, a week, two weeks ago, something like that. And we're up to 11, 1,100 um, uh, fans, likes, as they call it these days. But the album cover is of this graveyard in the... In the uh, is that you, Derek? I think so. That looks a lot like <laughs> you. Uh, you never know. It's just it's not back of, in the stroller yeah, days. Is it? Not, not but the okay. thing of it is, it's, it's kind of gothy looking, you know? So we've been getting all of these likes on Facebook from these goth music fans. It's kind of a <laughs> kind of an odd thing, but hey, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get. Bring it, goth, to chill. I think though that they'll enjoy the fools for own. I was listening to the dead. Oh man, song that band that is awesome. They're amazing. They are. Really they're so them. busy touring right now, and it's one of those bands on the verge of breaking. So coming out the show and seeing this band could possibly be that this could be one of the next uh, bands. There's two girls in the band female lead singer and then rachel who plays guitar les paul 
but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see these guys break out in the next in the next six months, and you can come to this show and say, "Man, I saw that band at the Majestic Theater." Now, Tony, isn't it ru- rumored that uh, they have fans that are coming from out of state, even they got to the show? Fans have been buying tickets from all over Indiana, Kentucky. You gotta pick up your tickets early if we Man, got people coming we from are, out of state. We're bringing a heck of a party to Chillicothe. Yeah. yeah. And anyway, we've been talking about, yeah, you mentioned, you know, Gothic fans and you know, Taylor Swift, Brad Paisley, Ronnie Millsap. Yeah. You yeah. guys are rock, though, right? We're not, we, we talked a lot of country and other things, but you guys are pure rock. No, we're, 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 <laughs> we're very, very, very rock and roll. That's our, that's our roots. It just happens that we make money with the other artists. It kind of <laughs> pays the bills, just kind of your bread and butter, uh-huh. you know, kind of a thing. That's what you do in Nashville. You might want to talk about some of the raffle items, the things Ooh, that raffle are raffling items. off. Ooh, we yes. have pizza. We have, <laughs> <laughs> we have jewelry. If you order the pizza, you may or may not cola. get it. Christie's Pizza. Who are our sponsors, Mary? Come on, help me out here. Christie's Pizza. Uh, you Smith. Sec? You sec, yeah. Smith's Jewelers. I wish I had the poster in oh, front of me. Yeah. Yeah. Poster. Yeah. We um, should have, we have if you get us one, we'll have it out front in the okay. window and people can come by and see all the great sponsors. And you can go to www.teaserticus.com. And you can see that poster online or sign up for our Facebook page. And that poster is on there and go to the events page and it lists all of our sponsors. So we, we appreciate very much everybody that's jumped in here. It's incredible. Well, and one more thing uh, on Thursday, that the week, the Thursday before, what's that, the 28th, I guess, <laughs> yep. we're having a blood drive. Yeah. Uh, in front of the majestic okay. yeah, blood. I don't know blood is in high demand right oh, now absolutely yes, we have an urgent need and um, anybody who donates gets well a too. ticket <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> anybody who donates gets a free ticket okay so. and we're, before we wrap up here one more time uh, can you give us the, the dates and the, the times of this uh, event uh, the blood drive on the 28th um, we've got the concert on the 29th and 30th uh, the concert starts at 8 doors open at 7 Doors open Beer seven, Garden opens at eight. five. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what? I should mention this. There's uh, two bands in the courtyard. Corey Breath Friday, okay. and uh, Joker's Wild will be playing there one uh, Saturday. And we appreciate those guys coming out and helping out, and looking forward to hearing them too. So fun before the fun. Fun before it's, the it's, fun. It's just gonna. Fun. We're, we're, <laughs> it's we're, gonna be a fun. We're weekend. blocking off the street and. Uh, there's going to be uh, clowns and face painters and um, <laughs> there is that right? jugglers. I don't uh, dog, know. Dog and pony shows. I think we got there's nothing more fun than that. Today. Add things, Tony. I can't <laughs> sleep. <laughs> clowns will eat me. <laughs> and also, we forgot to mention something here is the soldiers salute. We're going to be uh, uh, dedicating a big portion of this show to all the local uh, heroes uh, around uh, this area and their uh, sacrifices uh, for our country. It's something that's very dear to all of our hearts. So that that's gonna it's gonna be. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be a dry eye in the audience after after this segment. I know mine won't be. So, but anyway, that 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 is a uh, we're very proud of that too. So uh, you can pick up tickets at BBB Music Center, also at www.teaserTickets.com. That's teaser with a Z. You can also probably pick up the Resurrection at that website as well. You absolutely can. You can. It's on iTunes, Amazon. Actually, BBB Music has the CD here locally if you just want to stop by there and say hi to Bob. Hi, Bob. This is rock news. This is breaking <laughs> rock news right now. We thank you all for coming in. We've been talking with Mary McCord. She's the executive director of First Capital American Red Cross. She brought in Tony Cottrell, Derek Potter, Marty McKeever. The name of the band is Teaser. They'll be available uh, to listen to at teasertickets.com, also at The Rock for the Red Cross, coming up in later in July. You're listening to Dana Mike in the Morning, 1490 WBEX.